Hey there econ students. In our last video I showed you how to calculate a CPI using prices over three different years. In this video I'm going to show you how to calculate inflation using the results of the CPI calculations you learned in the last video. Enjoy the video. Please subscribe to my channel and head over to econclassroom.com for more resources for econ students and teachers. In the last video, we talked about how to calculate the consumer price index using the prices of particular goods consumed by a typical consumer in a nation in a year. In this video, we're going to use the CPI to calculate inflation between different years. So recall from a previous video that we had three years consumer price indexes, 100 for the base year of 2016, 128 for the second year of 2017, and for 2018, we had a CPI of 122. Let's go ahead and calculate inflation for each of these years. Inflation is defined as a change in the price level over time. Using a consumer price index, we can calculate inflation as the percentage change in the CPI between two years. So inflation is always between two periods of time. We can calculate inflation between 2016 and 2017 by calculating the percentage change in the CPI between those two years. Let's do that now. So we have CPI for 2017, we'll subtract the CPI for 2016, we'll divide that by 2016 CPI, and we'll multiply the result by 100 to get a percentage. The CPI for 2017 was 128, the CPI for 2016, our base year was 100, and we can divide that by the base year CPI of 100, and we get 28 divided by 100 times 100 gives us an inflation rate of 28%. Prices increased on average across this country by 28% between 2016 and 2017. Now that's obviously a pretty easy one. When comparing the CPI to the base here, it's pretty apparent what the rate of inflation is. It's how much the CPI increased expresses a percentage. Let's do the same thing for 2017 to 2018. So from 2017 to 2018, we can calculate the percentage change in the CPI. 2018 CPI was 122. 2017 CPI was 128, and we could divide that by 128 and multiply the result by 100. We're going to need our calculator for this one, but we can do the top part here. 122 minus 20, 128 is negative 6 divided by 128 times 100. Negative 6 divided by 128, negative 0 0.04, we'll multiply that by 100 we had an inflation rate of negative 4.68%. So between two years, we can always calculate the inflation rate by determining the percentage change in the CPI. To do that, we take the CPI in year two. In this case, it was 2018. Subtract the CPI in year one. That would be the previous year of 2017 and divide it by the previous year's CPI. Multiply that by 100 and we get the inflation rate. Just a quick observation, in this example, we had a year in which inflation was very high at 28%, and we had a year in which there was actually deflation of 4.68%. If the CPI increases between two years, there's inflation. If the CPI decreases between two years, there's deflation. Here we go. One step at a time. 